TV Sugar Nigeria Season 5 is all about um, spreading awareness, educating the young generation, well, of Nigeria on social issues. It's very focused on the Gen Zs, which is people younger than 25, 25 and below. Yeah. We wanted to tell a story that wasn't so preachy, but also was very relatable, right? In terms of what the younger generation is going through. That's what Sugar is all about. When it came to casting, it was important that we got people that embodied not just on camera but also off camera, camera because I mean yeah. the actors who star in Sugar get to be ambassadors for the Stay in Alive Foundation so it was also important that the actors that we cast were people who embodied yeah. the values that the foundation represented as well and I mean it's pretty exciting to be introducing a bunch of actors to the Sugar yeah. universe like um, Bubemi Eje, Genevieve yes. Ame, Susan Quadrock, Ilo, um, Ilo Wee who yes. you know from MTV Base, yes. Kanaga, Kanaga Junior, who's, yes, yes. Yeah. Lexan. Uh, Choma from the open auditions as well. She and, yeah. she and Kanaga were on those yeah. rounds. So we were also looking out for chemistry. I remember yes. um, Genoveva and Bola. And Bola did together. together. Wow. Seeing how they fed off each other and mm -hmm. the chemistry they had, it, it just made it clear that this, this is mom and this yeah, is daughter. Yeah, this is daughter. Like, daughter. We're looking for a more for talented group of people. I mean, people like Kikyo Mili, Francis, Onguche, like this is... John and Jama. John and Jama. The show is know. dreaming with talent. You know, it... I think it makes the director's jobs easier. Just everybody's mm -hmm. jobs easier when the on-screen talent is so good that you have very places to go with yeah. whatever it is the script says or whatever. So credit to all the actors like who were phenomenal. Mm -hmm. The returning mm -hmm. cast, yeah. Sadiswa, um, Tomiwa, yeah. Sharon. Sharon. They, people will be so invested in the lives of these characters that might be hard to separate. The actor, the actor from the real from who they, <laughs> from who they really are yeah. yeah we wanted to be very female focused we had producers like judith audu production managers like banker danny lola the, the, that's our core production team and then you go on to the main crew yolanda okirike who's a costume designer yodun balobo who's head of makeup bossa as well who's head of hair so, our director yeah, like, ayomide nora yeah. as well nora's our second time operator the writers room as well so a very female, female focused, focused team yeah. aside from them being female they're also very very good at what they do we are making a show that is led by women in front and behind the cameras mm -hmm. and that Diola is a very competent and skilled director she has a ton of experience and she was so passionate about the story that we're trying to tell and her investment in the characters and just what she brought to the table made it a no-brainer that Diola would be the lead director yeah, yeah. for this season and credit to Yemi and Kayo they, they formed a really good trio See? and the synergy was yeah was super. really great and it was really fun to just look on set and see a sea of capable talented women doing their thing and so that was very important for us this season with staffing and 80 percent female crew to make mtv sugar our main location which was the y hub before we even got into that space it was just basically a shell Fairwolves. the arts department team really did a great job transforming that whole space that space really gives you the energy and the vibe that is this season of sugar which is bright, colourful, fun and energetic. Our characters in their everyday lives are going through so much and we wanted the youth up to feel like a safe, warm space. And so speaking with the production designer Frost and our director Ayomide Frost, it was very important that when you entered into the youth hub, you felt like this was home. When we saw the youth hub for the first time, wow, it the blew level of impression and the, the, the detail, the like, because you said, you okay, know. it was uh, Sheila who runs the youth hub. It's not like she has all the money in the world, so a lot of the stuff is DIY. Mm -hmm. And they took that to the furniture, like, mm -hmm. it literally looked like Sheila called all her friends and they built and they built this together, together. <laughs> like, and how the show looked was very important. So the cinematographer was very important. Yes. Us. And so. enter Bani Modi, who is one. Of the youngest, brightest cinematographers in Nigeria, like him and Nora, who was the cover operator, they formed such a great pair. And just in running the set, credit to the best assistant director, Maya, 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 another, another female film. camera light department, did a fab job at giving us great picture. Uh, Yafa, Shola, Shola Pigrip, Jacob, a team of professionals we assembled just made the day-to-day -day process 
so, so much, much fun. fun. Like, yeah, was, so much fun. Incredible. Shout out to MTV Stay in a Life Foundation for giving these ladies the opportunity because it embodies what sugar is, is yeah. opportunity yeah. and yeah. just representation and being able to do the things they are passionate about. Mm-hmm. Shout out to SAF, to Giordano, mm-hmm. to Sarah Pearl, to Richard, yeah, to Richard for giving for us the opportunity to, to empower people because, yeah, you can't, you can ask for a better opportunity. Great, great opportunity to be able to show around yes. this season of MTV. And to show around it together. Yes, because, I mean, for my guy. So guys, my name is Timmy Dayo Macondrola. And I'm Mr. Malsaje, and we are the showrunners of MTV, MTV Sugar, Sugar Niger, Niger Season 5.